Hello everybody. Um, this is Steve, KJ7, WQK. Uh, just checking in with a little update on the Trailmate trike. Uh, build progress, the current state of things. As you can tell by looking at it here, it's in running order. I posted a short video already of this bike shortly after I got it. Uh, picked this up locally on the used marketplace. I want to say, I think it was Offer Up. We got this off of um, in regular trike form. And uh, this is an industrial trike made by Trailmate, a company I had not heard of before. Um, clearly a Worksman-esque vibe here, a warehouse bike kind of bike. Since we got the bike, we converted it to electric. I've added a front basket for just toss in convenient cargo. And we've stowed the battery and the controller in the trunk box of the trike. Um, it's working out absolutely awesome and a lot of fun. And really I'm, I'm checking in to make this video to put it out there to anybody who's into cargo bikes, family bikes, stuff down this line. There's that trail meet head badge. A little hard to see there. There it is. Nice little head badge. Just uh, to keep these in mind, to keep these industrial trikes in mind. I was able to add an Odyssey BMX style front brake here up front that was not on the bike when we got it and uh, that's running through the brake cutoff switch of the fairly random front wheel motor kit i also found used online locally uh picked it up from a guy with the battery uh the the front wheel 24 inch front wheel uh this is a 1500 watt front wheel uh kit at least as far as what it says it's rated for when you look at the controller it's like a 35 amp peak controller plus or minus one to two amps so we're seeing on the display up top you know numbers as high as 1600 watts or so um cruise control works brake cutoff switches work um Pedal assist is not connected yet because uh, I'm still running a, a one-piece crank and that doesn't really play nice with the stationary and moving parts of a PAS uh, sensor system. So we may go to pedal, you know, go to a three-piece crank at some future point in time so I can get pedal assist working on this bike because I, I really dearly love pedal assist and the way that works and makes things you know, kind of slightly hands-free on a bike in a lot of ways, or at least mind-free, frees up the mind a little bit, uh, for me anyway. Uh, but right now, no pedal assist. Uh, yeah, uh, let me show you real briefly here the... Yeah, so let's show you inside the trunk here, what we've got going on. Um, I was playing around with this 52-volt triangle battery today, just for fun because it had Anderson connectors built into it and it was easy to rob off of the tandem. Uh, the 48 volt controller is hiding right under here. This wood is just literally just pressure fit in for today for fooling around to keep that from bouncing around too much here. Line the floor with foam. The battery is mounted through the floor onto its normal battery bracket. This is the daily driver 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery that came with the front wheel kit. Wiring needs to be just sort of enclosed in a loom of some kind. I've got a couple ideas for this and a couple different um, ways, you know, I could go about that. I'm thinking of using like a pipe insulator foam, chunk of conduit foam uh, to go around that and, uh, you know, just get them so that none of my incidental cargo that ends up tossed back here usually groceries picnic stuff that kind of thing gives it any problem but this doesn't move 
This, you know, is lockable and removable in the normal way. Not quite enough clearance for the charger back on this side to charge in place in the trunk. Not a big deal. Usually this is a top of the hill neighborhood runabout type bike. And uh, therefore never, you know, isn't going on 20 and 30 mile excursions. At least not, that's not how I envision it. Uh, and therefore shouldn't need to be charged away from home uh, or ever, you know, charged in the field where, it can, where I couldn't just simply remove the battery and plug it in anyway. So um, at any rate, look at that trunk, you guys. Look at the size of that trunk. The versatility is just ridiculous. Just imagine the possibilities. This will take me up any hill around here with the with the motor and the controller that it's got on it at 48 volts. Uh, 52, that battery doesn't really change the performance profile of the bike very much. Those of you who have been e-biking for a little while probably know that very well. The 52 volt just does a great job of resisting voltage sag throughout most of your ride and delivering you close to your same performance all the way to the very last mile as it did at the beginning um, and that's kind of what we love our 52 volt batteries for but the the 48 that's in there that little 13 amp hour battery that's in there just works delightful most of the time well all of the time really um, that that 52 is in there for sport today just just for the sake of saying I've got 30 something amp hours in the trunk because I've got room to carry it uh, yeah so Trailmate keep your eyes peeled for these on your local used marketplace uh, a week after this we found and picked up a worksman trike 20 inch wheeled trike for 50 bucks with a beautiful three speed on it front and rear brakes uh, spectacular little trike and uh, we might electrify that for the kids they, they, they love riding both of these uh, and even my six-year-old has managed to pilot this thing around in a circle before we electrified it uh, on, a, on a basketball court uh, impressively standing <laughs> he couldn't reach the pedals from the seat but he could stand in the middle of midships and and ride this thing around like a giraffe bike um, the trikes are really fun. It's a really unique and just a hilarious experience to ride it around. I, there's no other way to describe it. It's just, you feel somehow jovial when you're on it. You feel somehow happy when you're on it. It bobbles around in an interesting way. Um, you feel each bump like three times in, in different ways, but uh, in, in a cool way and in a very enjoyable way way um the pedaling gear for this bike is really just about five miles per hour or so a little bit faster than human walking pace so that's about what you can assist the motor at which is funny because then it ends up lending a very moped -y vibe to riding this thing because at anything over about five miles per hour you're in throttle territory entirely you're not you're not assisting it meaningfully at all with the uh, pedals so, uh, but again, it's, it's cool and fun for that reason in, in some ways. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is basically my latest update on the build. That's where it is. We've got front and rear brakes. I overhauled the coaster brake hub yesterday. Uh, it was howling real badly and I'm still getting a little sound under heavy braking on the coaster. I think it needs even more grease than I packed it with. I, I realize I could probably have just kept on packing grease inside that shell till my heart's content almost uh, and perhaps I should have. So uh, coaster brake homies let me know in the comments below when you read this uh you know do you pack those babies absolutely tight you know through every every uh, crack and crevice and and as much grease as you can get in there or do you just grease the parts and put them all back together 
because I did something in between those two. Um, generously greased, but definitely not like absolutely locked in place with tons of grease. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts below about this build and industrial trikes in general and trikes in general. Uh, I'm, you know, generally speaking, entirely able-bodied, but I'm excited about the way this rides, the, the fun factor of it, and the utility uh, that it really just oozes from every curve on the bike. So, uh, yeah, appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you've got a trike, anything like this, comment below. Um, yeah, there's more to come. There's more to come with this. We're not totally done with the refinements on this either. So there'll be some interesting uh, final touches put on this build, but we're getting there. This has been out for a really great shakedown cruise today. She's getting quieter all the time. It's lubed and greased, um, parts of which have probably never seen grease since it was originally assembled. Uh, and uh, yeah, looking forward to taking it out on some real interesting adventures real soon yeah so basically you know reasons why I would say consider these or don't sleep on these when you come across any adult trikes but in particular these industrials is they are heavy duty um, it, it, it seems to me like this thing was begging for a kit of some kind um, and this, you know, borderline overpowered kit is kind of just what this thing really loves. Cruise at five miles per hour, cruise at 10 miles per hour if you want to. It'll go north of 20 for sure. Um, all out. Obviously, that's not what the trike was ever intended to do, and it doesn't want to go 20. Um, but you can do it for a quick second if you wanted to show off or try for some reason more importantly though at sidewalk surfing speeds at bike path speeds the thing is stable as a rock you feel like you couldn't fall off of it if you tried it's because it's super heavy duty it takes that front motor and just sort of everything damps and balances nicely and it, it feels real stable and happy um, tractor is a, is a word that comes to mind uh, rider lawnmower that's another thought that comes to mind golf cart vibes is another thought that comes to mind um, these industrial trikes will often be really priced below their original market value and retail value. They're hard to park, they're big, they take up some space, you know, like any cargo bike that you might consider. Um, and they're low tech, but part of that's the beauty of it too, right? So uh, super easy to work on. Everything I've done has been done in the garage with adjustable wrenches, screwdrivers, hammers, you know, and a couple of sockets, no, nothing to it. Uh, so just a few points in favor of the industrial trike form factor in terms of a value option for a cool utility bike, e-bike build. Um, I'm here to say it, you know, um, go build you one. Go build you one, you're gonna love it. Just, yeah. Make a video, show me your builds. That'd be awesome. All right.